Okay, let's jump on the bandwagon and do another review. And let's review... Ta-da! Transformers Legacy. Is this light actually on? It is, okay. Transformers Legacy. Uh, Wild Rider. Wild Rider was the one that didn't get put into Combiner Wars. Uh, until later on, you had to find him. And his name was Breakneck for some reason. I don't, I don't know. But here he is in a very G1, very... 80s, 90s kind of style. He's got these two guns on top. They're the exact same as uh, drag strips. They're just painted differently. So we're going to take those off and throw them away because they're rubbish. And he's alright. He's not bad. Not bad at all. Why am I messing things up trying to get things tidy? Oh, what am I doing? Oh, what am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Right, okay. Shh, shh, shh. Stay. Shh, shh. Everything's fine. Uh, no brake lights. They're all moulded, but no paint. Can you see that? There we go. It's dark all of a sudden. Why has it gone dark? Nice Decepticon logo. He's pretty good. He works quite well. The, the streaks all the way along the front. He's very nicely done, to be honest with you. He's quite nice. I can't deny him that. This isn't silver. Oh, people are going to complain. Oh, they didn't paint that bit silver. Do, do you care that much, really? So, size comparison, I might as well bring in Legacy Drag Strip. And I assume that's in scale. I don't I don't know. It might be. Do I have to transform that off screen? I probably do. Alright, fine. So, let's transform this. And how do we do it? Right. A lot of people jump straight at the back, Combiner Wars styly, and this this is very Combiner Wars, okay? Very Combiner Wars. I'll, I'll show you as we get into it. A lot of people jump straight in the back. Let's not do that. Let's start the front, non-Combiner Wars styly. So, get the front, bring it down a little bit, like, like try and flex it down a little bit, just give me enough space to get my nail under and pop the windscreen up and all the way back. Can you see where this is going Combiner Wars style? You now get this loose. Now, you can't just fold it all the way out because it doesn't like it. There are bits that get in the way. So what you have to do is get these hinges in here. There's a nice double hinge. And loosen these bits just a little. Just a little. Don't fight with me now. To get them out to the sides. And this will allow you to bring this up and over. Now, I didn't read the instructions because I'm a Maverick Renegade. But a lot of the early pictures had these parts just left like that on the back. But I watched uh, JJ Prime, is it? Little fella, bless him. And uh, yeah, you can just close this back up again. Close back up. There you go. And just, just leave it there and never worry about it again. Okay, now we're going to come underneath here and we're going to wiggle the arms loose. You know, these side pieces that are the arms. I just fold them up. Now again, a lot of people will start this end, but I find if you don't do these arms first, which means you got to do this first, the arms kind of get in the way of this, because there's not a lot of clearance like the old combiner was. So if they haven't already, you need to untab these pieces, uh, sorry, unpeg, and there, then fold it on hinges in here, fold out to the side and out to the side. There's this tiny little half-hearted round peg here on each side it goes into those screw holes that one and that one they don't really grip or anything like that but that's what they're supposed to do now if you notice on the combiner wars ones these are used to fold all the way straight out like 90 degree turn these don't that's why i like the arms out of the way first and then you can rotate them back you need to pop this little uh, tab bit out from there and rotate it back. Now, we've got two points, two hinges. These, which are the knees, and ones here, which are, blah, 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 which are actually for the transformation. However, they are way stiffer than the knees, so you might have to fight with it. A little, there you go, a little bit. Now we can close this back together. Flip down the little feet, turn the waist around, and split. Uh, one thing I didn't mention 
on the back of the car is there's this sort of like jet engine bit. Can you see that? There we go. A little jet engine bit. Sure, why not? It's not a big deal. Fine. Alright, make sure that's on the back. Flip out the hands. Rotate it down. Flip out the hands. Rotate it down. And the last bit, you just flip down the chest panel. Flip out the head. Uh, I feel it goes in better turned around. I could be wrong. Might just be me. Turn the head around. Close that back up. Get the random hair off his head. And there, boys and girls, we have Wild Rider in robot mode. And he's okay. I don't think he does as well as Drag Strip. I don't think he could be a standalone character. Like, if you just bought this figure and never got the rest of them, would you use him as a character? Maybe not. I have got a light on. I I, look, I swear to you, I've got a light on. Let me try, turn it off. Turn it back on. I've got a light on. It's just making no difference today. Um, all the moulding, the style of the design, all the rest of it, they are there. They look great. They think it seems really slender. Like um, the Dead End that they've released, I was talking about on the stream the other day. Please check that out if you're interested. Uh, him, like this side pieces seem to be out, the chest seems wider. And they hinge up into the front there for the wheels. So his chest seems wider, it just seems beefier. The Combiner Wars figures are beefier. This fella, he just seems kind of slim because the arms, uh, the shoulders don't hinge out for roll mode. They just are there. They're in exactly the same place they would be for vehicle mode. Which is G1 accurate, don't get me wrong. But he just seems kind of skinny. The head is gorgeous, don't get me wrong. The head is really, really good. Do like the head. Though it's small, but it's fine. Perfectly fine. Light piping, painted silver. Can you see that? Light piping, painted silver. Um, there's not a lot of detail, really. It's all just, just black. I mean, I, I dare say repro labels or someone would go nuts on this guy, but he's just... Just a lot of grey. And again, if you want, you can do the stupid... cape thing. Maybe he's got a, a weird flight mode or something. There you go. Don't know. Honestly, don't know. Close this up. Close this up. Like I say, you can just throw it back together as a big lump, a la the G1, and not worry about it. Maybe it's something to do with the combined mode. Um, yeah, I mean, look. These arms are clearly just like who would have been the first ones. Um... Streetwise, Smokescreen, Prowl, uh, Dead End, uh, Wild uh, Breakneck, all those figures that had the exact same mold. They're clearly just those arms with the flip out hands and everything. They're exactly that. Take a little bit of red off, there you go. But instead of taking the side of the windscreen or whatever, did they have the white screen with them? I don't know if they did. They just seemed bigger like because they hinged out a little bit to make the chest bigger he just seems really skinny i should have got my uh break neck but i couldn't be bothered taking him because me he's menosaur's leg i didn't want to take menosaur down just to nah and these hips they're fine there but if you start bringing them out a little bit they fight 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 go loose and then they'll go wherever they want but if you get them to about there somewhere do a little bit of push and it jumps straight back straight like, they don't want to stay, like, a little bit out. Yeah? Can't get to there. It, it, it seems to want to fight with me. The knees are fine. They're not anything to write home about. It's got a swivel. Uh, forward, uh, you know, so you can do the, the old Michael Jackson thing where you can just lean forward and back, you know, without falling over. Really good ankle tilt, you know. If you can see any of this, because it's far too light. Uh, yeah, far too dark, far too bright, whatever. <sighs> Let's give him his guns. They don't look as good on him. They don't. I, I can't put my finger on why, but they don't. 
you know, just something about him that I don't quite love. I like him, and because I don't love him, therefore I love him more, because I'm an underdog kind of guy. But there's something not quite right about him. It's not quite right. So, size comparison, there's Siege Brunt. I'm only funny, there's Legacy Dragstrip. So, as much as I want to say he's small, he's probably about right. But then, the way his shoulders transform to the way his shoulders transform. Look how skinny he is. His shoulders basically end where Dragstrip shoulders start. Uh, weapon storage as well. Uh, I don't know if there's anything in here. I don't know if you can try and mash it in there somewhere. But the best way I've found is these, like the car mode ports. But if you try and put them like that, they are slightly too long. So you have to use the side peg. Which means one of them is, hmm, I would consider the wrong way. But that's your preference as to which one's which. And they don't quite get in the way of the legs. They don't get in the way of the heels, and that's about all you got for weapon storage. Sorry, it's all I can think of. And there he is. Um, like I said, I don't want to be a Debbie Downer on this, but he's not the best figure I've ever had. Will he do? Yes. Do I still like him? Yeah, I guess. But he's not the best. That's all I'm trying to say. Okay, I'm going to scarf it. So, I should be ugly, I should be wretched, and I shall see all of you in the next one, when someone makes an incredibly G1 accurate version of me, and I basically just look like a pink potato. Because all babies look like pink potatoes. Bye!